I made a pledge on this campaign to be independent and to first and foremost be responsive to the constituents of this district, regardless of whether or not they voted for me or not. And that is my first order of business, is making sure that we build uh, a district team, uh, that we build a DC team, that I myself spend my time reaching across the aisle and communicating and listening to all the people that didn't vote for me, all the people that stayed home and didn't vote for anybody at all. I think people believe that I'm going to fight for them. And I think there was a sense that we had a represent representative in Washington who was fighting for his political party, who was fighting for himself, who was fighting for his corporate interests, who was not actually standing up for us. I view this race, I still view it as very simply one where if people cast a vote on healthcare and immigration, we win. And if people get distracted by other stuff that doesn't matter, we, we, we lose. All we had to do was make sure that people understood that when they cast that ballot, what they should be thinking about was the loved one in their life that was affected. And, you know, that, that I think is why we won. Same midterm election, four years later, nearly twice as many people cast a ballot. Uh, that is shocking. You learn that the politics were deeply personal and that one way or another people felt like their vote really mattered. I don't blame Denham for playing the political game. I think he was doing what he thought he had to do to keep his seat. Look, they spent $15 million or so on negative ads against me. But I view that as flattering. I think if they want to spend $15 million against you, it must mean you're doing something right. I clearly am not somebody who has been spending the last 32 years of my life preparing for some run politics. And I ran because I thought I could make a difference for my community. As we talk about any policy arena, I think we should take a step back and realize that while Democrats scored a huge victory, uh, we now control one half of one branch of government. My main priority is making sure that people have access to affordable care. We're gonna create a pattern of trust. I mean, the way that people trust you to stand up for them is repeated uh, examples of you doing just that. I want to be the congressman for everyone. And there are a lot of folks who support we did not receive or did not earn in the last election. And I want those folks to know that I'm going to be spending the next two years trying to earn their support the next time around.